Hello and welcome back to Daily Direction where we're going to be looking at this really cool social share icon button. So moving over to Webflow, let's get our first div down. We're going to call this S parent. We're going to give it a width of 45 pixels. We're going to give it a height of 45 pixels. We're also going to set it onto relative. What we're going to do now is we're going to drop another div in. We're going to call this S child. We're going to give it a width of 45 pixels. We're going to give it a height of 45 pixels. We're going to make sure this is on absolute flex. It's going to be center, center. And then we're going to put the Z index to five. We're going to put a background color on it. We're going to bring this border radius up. And then we are going to drop in our image. We're going to size this up. And we now have our first element inside. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to get a link block. Oh, that's a div. Let's just get rid of that. We're going to get a link block. Let's try that again. And drop that in, not into anything. We're going to get a link block. I'm going to put this to S child. And that will now basically give us the, the parameters that we need. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put a combo class on this of S image. And we're going to change this to zero. Now that has basically moved that, that element behind. Now what we're going to do again is we're just going to drop in an image. We're going to put it on 19 and we're going to select that element and just have a look. So the best way to see if this was in the center, we're just going to move this down and just check. This looks great. Let's just quickly tweak the size of this. And then what we can do is we can copy paste, change the image, copy paste, change the image, copy paste, change the image. Now the reason that we've split these out into different layers um, is because when we start to do animations we need to be able to rotate this without rotating all of the other elements. So let's just put this back to where it needs to go and then what we can do is start to animate this. So let's select this I'm going to do a mouse click. I'm going to start this. I'm going to do 0, 8, S, click. And what I need to do is I need to grab the first one. We're going to do a move. We're going to make sure it's on selected element. Set to the initial state. 0, 0. And then we're going to do a move. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's the first part. And we're going to grab the next one. We're going to do exactly the same move. Selected state. Zero, zero. Move. We want to move it out the other way. Four. Great. I'm going to get this. I'm going to do a move. Selected state. Move. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just notice, let's make sure we put this on zero, zero. Let's just check. Great. It's coming out. And then we're going to select this last element. I'm going to do a move. And make sure it's on selected element. Zero, zero. Move here. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. We're going to select all of these. We're going to put them on these. Bring the speed down. Just test it out. Great. Perfect. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back in. We're going to select this. We're going to do a rotate. Again, make sure it's on the selected element. We'll put this on zero. We'll do a rotate. 
and then we're going to move 45. We're going to make sure it's on our knees. 0.3. Let's just test it. Perfect. So we've got that, and now we can move on to the second click. Move on to the second click. Duplicate. And then what we can do is we can basically select all of these, delete these, grab all of these, take them off the initial state, put it on these, 0.3, and hopefully we should have it. And there you go. That is how you create this really nice social icon. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.